Yeah, I'm kind and I'm strong, I'm enough I'm on my journey and I'm never giving up Them evil lies, yeah, they looking kind of tough hey, We turn the sun to with the middle finger up To protect it, to be tested What's up? Good morning Hope everyone's having a blessed and happy day Remember positive vibes all day, every day All that jazz Here's another episode of Minutes with Maya Okay, I'm not gonna lie This morning I'm kind of feeling like my energy feels a little off, and I'm still trying to figure that out why. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I've been, like, on the fence about my job lately, just because, like, physically I don't want it to keep putting a wear and tear on my body, or if it's, like, a mixture of, like, everyone's feelings and emotions that are here. I don't know. But hopefully this day can get turned around, and hopefully I get some good flicks of content. I'm probably going to show some clips of what else I do at work too. Remember, I'm not going to be putting a lot of like people's like houses in there because it is their personal houses and stuff like that. So unless I have their approval, then I'll, I don't mind taping, but I don't want to get in trouble for nothing. So I'm about to get my morning meeting started. And uh, yeah, I'll walk you out the break room into the rotary store. <laughs> telling you this is like a giant thrift store you could literally buy anything you could find anything here from cards fish pillows anything silverware pet supplies uh, well, those aren't pet supplies but they're baskets but we do have pet supplies you know furniture Tons and tons of furniture. Endless amounts of furniture. Kitchen tables in the back. Everything. And you get it for a good price too. We got flooring, tile. It's like we're like a Costco and a Home Depot as a thrift store. So day and my mood has been definitely fluctuating today like <laughs> it's like I'm, I'm feeling all right but then like I, yeah I don't know I'm still trying to pinpoint it so I decided to come to one of my spots that a old friend of mine has showed me years ago and I still continue to come here because it's awesome so I said let me go and do some meditation Try to clear my mind while I'm on my lunch break. <sighs> but I'm gonna go to the other spot. I'm trying to be quick because God forbid. I'm not even gonna say it because I don't want to manifest it. But <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, I can still see it. Just wanna see my truck from where it's parked. That was just all the way over there. And now I'm here.
feel like I'm running through a jungle. <sighs> Get my cardio for the day. So here, cool. Now, I don't know. I mean, I guess recently I just haven't been like fully fulfilled with a lot of things. Which is like, it's normal, like you're not always going to be fulfilled with everything that you do, 100%. But, at the end of the day, you also can't ignore your feelings too. And it's just like, it sucks. I'm in a weird boat, to be honest. It's like, because it's like, you got your responsibilities, but then you got like your mental health and your physical health that you got to worry about too. And it's just like... For others who have troubles with these types of anxiety and issues as well, it's like when you feel like you want some change, you need some change, you're feeling uneasy. When you're feeling uneasy, it definitely means that something needs to change. Whether it's eating habits, anything, or just physical change. Like I've been feeling like lately I've been putting a lot of wear and tear on my body. And it's just like, I, I, I'm such an active person. I have so much energy that it's like, if I, 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 the way I look at it is like, if I want to get hurt, I want to get hurt doing something that like I'm super passionate about. Like I put a lot of passion and love into my job because I actually do love my job. I do. I've, I've actually got to, like there was growth with this job, you know, and I can, I can definitely say that. Like I definitely came a long way in, in short amount of time, kind of like, you know, conquered a lot of goals. Like I'm not mad. Like I've only, I'm almost here two years. I'm speaking like I've been here for seven years, but it's a simple fact that, you know, I'm always here for two years. Within my first nine months, I was able to switch and uh, get a promotion and be in a different position. And that was definitely a big help, you know, especially financially, 100%. It also helped me, like, being able to, like, learn how to manage better and also kind of prioritize things a lot, a lot better. And more importantly, like I should say, put like, it also showed me about my self value too. Like I, I like working for a place where I feel valued. So that will help, that will help with some part of the fulfillment. But then when you're getting valued, you are getting treated well. Cause it's not like, I'm not going to sit here and say like, oh my God, like nobody with authority in my job in this company, like has done anything to me to hurt me in any way. And especially not intentionally cause words are words and words can only go so far. You know what I mean? But I do have support system here. I can say that. And I know that I like battle with like things outside of work as well. So it's just like, I try to kind of separate how I'm feeling from outside of work, but it just, but a lot of things do reflect into work as well. Cause it's just like, I get treated, I get treated with like a good, a decent amount of respect, I think at work. But then it's like at home, I'm like not getting that type of respect, I don't. So it's just like, it sucks when it's like the respect and like love that you want and the words you want to hear from people closest to you you don't hear you don't get it you don't get treated that way but then a whole bunch of people who barely know you and only know you for like almost two years like do treat you differently <laughs> and it's just like it's a great feeling and that's when you got to be like all right well certain people are supposed to be meant for you and stuff like that but that also gives you an emotional attachment and that's my problem like I have an emotional attachment with my job and I and that's the thing like I, there are a lot of great people that work here I've met a lot of great faces help a lot of people a lot of people have helped me even just letting me vent and hear me <laughs> cry talk whatever about anything like 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 I have a good I do have a good crew and stuff like that but it's also like I said like I don't want to keep, I don't want to get, I don't want to like keep putting myself in that thought of like feeling like I don't want to be here and then like I feel like I'm just not, I feel like I'm like cheating the job out. Like I'm not giving my proper all because like I feel like I'm like an hourglass. Like I'm just kind of like running out of sand a little bit mentally and stuff like that. Like and, and physically because I, I, I do hurt myself a lot on this job. 
I do. So like it's like, but it's like, I like I said, I don't want to get hurt doing something. I'd rather get it. I don't want to get hurt at all. But I know it's like you're bound to always trip up, slip up eventually. But it's just like I said, like I've just been kind of having like a mental battle with that of like where I want to go. I mean, it's like I know where I want to go and I know what I want to be and I know what goals I want to reach. It's just like I'm also battling with myself being patient on achieving those goals. So it's like that's another thing. So it's like I'm not trying to do anything impulsive. But sometimes making impulsive moves do work. But I'm, I mean, like I'm not going to make any impulsive, disrespectful decisions. Like I'm going to responsibly go about things the right way when uh, that time comes and stuff like that. But it's like so when I went and meditated a little bit ago, it wasn't long because I had these bugs that were bothering me. So I was like, okay, they were kind of like eating at me. So I was like, maybe I do not need to be here right now. A different day, different park, different time. But so, <laughs> but that was one of the things that I was meditating on, like about how I feel because I'm like, I'm like, what is it? <laughs> what do I need to like, am I, am I just scared to be making these decisions? Am I just overthinking things and like, you know, like, but it's just like what I just learned is like just go with the flow I just honestly just listen to the waterfall and like God just go with the flow for right now and kind of just see how things go work on my stuff that I want outside of work like work on my passions and then you know hopefully things will change soon like hopefully things will change I can't put a time stamp on things but all I can do is just hope pray and just keeping the best version of myself that I can be like get back in uh get back in shape that's one thing because being upset and stuff i really got myself in like an interesting uh not interesting but i i definitely like slacked a little bit because i just haven't been my full self lately and a lot of things a lot of different changes have been happening but other than that i'm okay like i'm here i'm able to walk i'm able to talk i'm able to speak i'm able to still work i am able to still make money so like there's that part of me isn't broken you know but it's just like yeah i just feel like i hate when i get in a mood but i know that i'm supposed to be expressing myself so that's why i'm trying to you know stay active and be active on my channel and actually add more consistency on a lot of my different um medias but yeah so if my whole point of this because this is just turning into like a rant which is fine it's just like a vlog of how i'm feeling and it's, i'm working i'm on break right now so yeah so it's just like sometimes take some time if you're ever like stuck in an indecision take some time to like write out some pros and cons and think about life the long-term and short-term goals that you want to achieve and then also think about how it affects your mental state if things are extremely like messing with your mental state then it might be time to call it quits you know um you know especially physical too but if it's like something where you know you could you could probably if you can push through and like there's you can see yourself coming on the other side feeling like okay i'm glad that i did stick to it and stuff like that then stick to it but that's all up to you everybody's different and what everyone's going through is what everyone's going through i specifically also feel like a lot of people that i'm working with like they're seeing like the smaller picture of like they're seeing like it's they're staying present which is fine it's great to stay present but it's just like i'm like I, I wanted so much more than where i'm at right now you know what i mean like i'm not bashing where i'm at i'm just saying i want more so i have to go and sure strive for more <laughs> i gotta start putting that action to get that more so it's like when you're around people who are kind of only thinking like well this is it for me or I can't do this I can't do that I can't follow my dreams that's not the energy I want to be around I want to be around the energy where it's like yeah I need to make these moves I want to go I want to grow and continue to be the best version of myself that I could be so that's where I'm at and that's what I'm gonna do I'm just going to just keep planning keep organizing the things that I need to happen keep working hard and then when the time comes the time will come and when things get cut out, things will get cut out. Like I'm consi consistently always cutting things out, whether it's people, places, or things. So this is just gonna be one of those things. But we'll see, you never know, you never know, you never know. I'm not gonna predict the future right now. I'm just gonna stay present and just talk about how I'm feeling today and how I've been feeling. But yeah, that's what you gotta do. 
somebody's walking up. So yeah, so as long as pretty much, you know, as long as pretty much, you just gotta do what's best for yourself. And that's just, that's just what you gotta do. Whatever you're in, whatever hard times, do what is best for yourself because there's always a greater outcome. There's always something that's gonna turn your situation around. Whether you believe it or not, it is going to happen. So just stay strong. Don't give up. Just make the changes you need to make. Start working towards what you wanna change if you're unhappy. You know, I don't like to sit here and just complain, 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 because I'm not too complacent. I'm really not. But I also know, like, it's okay. It's okay to kind of be in your feels about things because that's how you're going to figure shit out. So, pretty much is what I'm saying is, like, you know, take the time you need to fig figure stuff out. Especially when it comes to work. Take a vacation. Take some time. If you don't have the time, make the time. Don't ever sit here and say you can't make time for yourself because you should be able to in any way, shape, or form. Okay? To make time for yourself, stay strong you know don't make any impulsive decisions that will you know give you negative impact and negative things that can happen to you try to stick with the positive changes one closed door will open so many more doors it just depends the route that you're going if you're going through a negative route then don't expect the best out of a positive outcome you know but you never know sometimes you can't have the dark without the light you can't have the light without the dark you know how that goes so you never know. Every situation is different. You know? It might feel like it's a negative decision to quit a job, but then it's like, hey, how do you not know that your dream job is right around the corner? You know what I mean? So that's why it's like, it's not a negative impact, but it's also the risk of the thought of that it's being bad. Like, you know, it's like the fact that it's like, oh shit, we shouldn't do it. And everybody's just like, don't do that, don't do that. And it's like, honestly, no. You make your decision and you do what you feel and how you feel and do what you think is best for yourself. Not what anybody else tells you. No. Live for yourself. All right. That's enough of my rant. I feel like it kind of went a little all over, but this is my break, my work break rant. Pretty much. I don't know if I'm going to show any more footage from today because it's kind of been like a odd day. Like, we kind of busted a lot of stuff out quickly this morning and. Like I said, we're on lunch. It's already about to be 2 o'clock, so, or a little past 2, so, yeah, that's enough of my rant. All I'm going to say, sometimes you got to take time to think, meditate, be in your own zone, talk to yourself, write to yourself, whatever works for you, for whatever you're going through. So, hopefully, you're having a good day if you came across this video, and if you weren't having a good day, hopefully, you're feeling a little bit better, because I want you to have a good day. Remember, positive vibes all day, every day. Let's try to stay away from negatives. High vibrations only. F the low vibrations. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for having. Thank you for having. Thank you for spending a couple minutes with Maya again. Bye bye. Only one person knows I'm in here. I wait until they park up. Pop up on themselves. This is a hundred percent like you should not be doing this at all. <laughs> I will deal with the repercussions. I need a break. This is one of the most exciting days. Oh, yeah, if you haven't told, like my whole energy boosted. I'm telling you, after I meditated. <laughs> To be tested, I'm too protected, to be tested, I'm too protected, hey, hey, hey.